Hey everybody, what's up? Mast FPV here, going to be doing a pretty quick simple review on a product that was sent to me by a company that a lot of you guys know. Um, they're called Tattoo. It's a pretty cool ESCs. So yeah, let's get into it. Here we go. So obviously it's uh, an ESC. Um, I haven't seen these by the company yet. Uh, I've only seen their batteries and they're quite amazing. So hopefully these stand up to the same quality. You open the package and first thing you see is this nice pamphlet. It's um, got a pretty simple basic explanation as to how the ESC works, what the beeps mean whenever you plug your LiPo in. Um, so yeah, pretty good for any newbies out there. So, all right, here you go. Very nice packaging. Um, they are 30 amp, two to five S, uh, Beal LAS D shot. They're ready to go out of the box. Um, I did open this one already. I had to take a peek. Um, so yeah, let's take these out. Component placement looks immaculate. Looks really, really, really good. And there is a heat sink already installed with 20 gauge wires. And the signal and ground wires are not coated in plastic, which is a huge plus. I don't understand why ESC manufacturers even put out ESCs with that material. Soldering irons get hot and plastic melts pretty easily. So silicone is nice. So thanks, Tattoo. All right, so let's look at the ESC that I've already opened up to get a nice closer look at what these look like. So I, I haven't seen any ESCs like this. I, I originally thought that these were probably rebranded like most companies do, but Tattoo actually engineered these from the ground up. And with the quality of their batteries, I'm pretty sure that these are going to be pretty amazing. So here's a closer look at the ESC's component placement. And from the looks of it, it's pretty easy to see that quality standards uh, were very high. Um, everything seems to be on there very, very well and straight. Uh, soldering looks great. Here's a view at the top. Everything looks really nice. So one thing that I also noticed is that the heat sink isn't just sitting on there with some cheap heat transfer dielectric that can slip and possibly damage the components underneath. This is on there with an adhesive, a high temp adhesive, that's gonna prevent that from happening. So another cool thing is that there are solder pads for the motors, which is great because it makes changing motors in the field really, really easy. Signal and ground wire and positive negative leads are spaced apart well enough to prevent you from accidentally soldering two pads together. All right, so there you go. Pretty simple, straightforward review. Just uh, some first impressions on what we see as pilots, nothing too in depth. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw these in a frame and we're gonna see how they fly.
quick afterthoughts on the flight. Um, they absolutely deliver. These ESCs are smooth. They are absolutely amazing. Um, I've got absolutely nothing bad to say about them. They're smaller than most ESCs that are out there, so perfect for four inch builds or what have you, or whatever build you want to throw these on. But um, this is what I flew, just so you guys know. I flew a MIG Vice x uh running T-Motor S60s, 2450 KVs, uh, HQ 54 3x3s, uh, and a KISS flight controller. Absolutely amazing product, so good job Tattoo. You guys did an amazing job at engineering these ESCs, and I'm very impressed. Let me know what you guys thought. If I did good, bad, probably bad, this was my very first review, so don't be afraid to let me have it, let me know where I was terrible, let me know where I did good or what you want to see. So I do have some more product reviews to do in the future, so let me know what you guys want to see or hear. Like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram because I'm going to be announcing a giveaway for a set of these awesome ESCs for free. So uh, yeah, stay tuned and thanks for watching.